Well, I'm done with them. So yeah, Pyro Lizards should be good for this. I have plenty. They're not the best gift, but I do want to save at least a couple of them. So we'll trade for that. This nice. You tra take this too. And we get the white brog liver that I'm actually after. I only need to do that one more time. Let's go ahead and take care of that on screen since it should go quick now that I know what I'm actually trading. So over to the plenty of scent wood and then you can have the pyro lizard. It's nice. You take this too. And we should have everything that we need. Hooray! White frog livers. I'm not I'm not sure why you want the white frog livers. It seems like a very specific thing. I haven't even seen any white frogs now that I think about it. But we're ready to move on. So where we are going to move on to is still in Satoro Marsh. It is just in the uh, Sororo statues. Now we've not necessarily gone to this part. It's not the high level ones, right? Yeah, it's just the Aqua Nebulas. Can you... You cannot walk here. <laughs> Ricky's gonna have to swim for it. So, uh, this is once again for the water quest, for preparing for adventure. Uh, we need to get the water from that waterfall over there. Uh, we have not been over here, I don't think, uh, because there wasn't a red orb over there. Or if there was a red orb, I probably would have picked it up. So, here's this one. Now, this will be useful. There's the statue water, which does not sound good at all. Uh, but that is still for preparing for adventure. We still need to get the Machna water from the great Machna Falls. Uh, but outside of that, we are essentially good to go. Let's actually head there now. So we're going to head back to Machna Forest. Nothing to do in Bionis' interior, at least not yet. We'll spend way too much time there later, though. Uh, we're going to go ahead and warp to yeah, the Divine Sanctuary. Let's go ahead and get the Machna water now. Uh, this is, once again, one of my favorite views in the game. I really do like the view here at Machna Falls. It's very, very nice. Uh, notice that there is a little island in there. We'll swim for it. Why not? We're going to be doing a lot of swimming today. All right, let's hop off. There is a reason why I warped here, after all. It is the fastest way to get to where I want to go. I like how they just automatically spawn next to me while I'm still underwater. All right, so there is the island over there. Unfortunately, the water is constantly pushing against us, so it takes us a long time to swim against the current. Uh, but we can eventually make it there. I still have Ricky in front because of things like this. I want him to get there at least a little bit more quickly than other people. We are going to swim for the island. I don't think this island has anything that great on it. But uh, we do get Great Machna Falls discovered and we got a skill for, for Ricky. I wasn't even keeping track of that. All right, Ricky, what did you learn? You learned friends now. Uh, allows low value items to be offered when trading. Hooray. Uh, so then we have the choice of love sun, explore time, or AP for all. Let's Ricky steal AP with Yoink and share it with the party. That's very useful. But I think for the time being, I'm going to go with explore time because I want to get that learned as soon as possible. More experience when discovering a landmark. Uh, so that that adds up over time. Whereas the AP, it's good, but it's not necessarily um, as vital, I would think. Hold on one second, though. Just keep swimming. We're going to head for it. You can see the red orb in the distance there. But like I said, I'm going to head for the small little island. Like I said, I don't think there's anything to do here. But it is a small little island, so we might as well check it out. There is a path up here. Oh, it's good for a couple collectibles. As it turns tonight. Hey, there was a fossilized monkey there. Either that or it, I forgot the description for fossil monkey. But we got another one. All right, so let's head this way as it turns tonight. 
I thought I saw a red orb in the distance, but now there's so much, like, pink and purple on the screen that I'm having trouble seeing it. There it is. I think that's it. No. No, let's change the time so maybe I have a better shot at it. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to see. It's, you know, kind of specific. Oh, great. Now it's raining. Um, no monsters out here. So I don't need to be concerned about that. But I do want to be on the lookout for a red orb. Should be in the distance somewhere around here. Oh, is that it? Nope. I keep on thinking that I see it, but it is not it. It's way out here. There it is. Way in the distance. I see it on the mini-map. But I don't see it... Like, on the screen here. So you just have to keep swimming for it. Like I said, it is a long swim. There's... As far as I know, nothing else out here. I haven't spent all the time checking, but as far as I remember, there's nothing else out here. All right, there I see it. It's a little bit brighter than everything else. It is a ways off, and we are going against the current, and that is not always all that helpful. But eventually, we will make it to the red orb. It looks like the current's going with us. I can assure you it is not. Come on, Ricky, swim for it. All right, we got ourselves the Machna water. I'm going to keep on going all the way to the end. I want to see what's all the way over here. It's not too much further from here. All right, see, like it looks like it's going up from here. Eh, that's it. That's as far as I can go. I'm I'm not sure why, to be honest with you. See, look, it looks like it's going up. All right, if I let go, then you automatically just start swimming that way. You can swim real fast to get with the current, just not against the current. You know, that's how currents work. So we are done here. We got what we came for. Let's warp on out of here. Uh, I do want to actually check out the map a little bit before we go. See what. Uh, I uncovered here. As you can see, it's just freaking huge. We will uh, not swim all of this. We'll unlock all of this when we finish up the map. We will be finishing up all the maps, but uh, this one in particular, we can't finish just yet. Uh, there's an area that's unlocked here uh, later in the game, so we're not going to be able to do anything with it right now. It's time to head back to Frontier Village now. Uh, so let's head to the uh, No Pond Tower. And we will head east from here because we need to return to Ababa because we got so much bitter stuff for him. Hooray. Remember, we're doing this basically to punish somebody. I went out of my way, killed a whole bunch of wisps so that I can punish somebody. Just seems a little weird. We need it to be night, though. He should be somewhere around here. Once again, I go the long way, like every time on the clock. All right, Ababa, I have something for you. Drink bitter wisp fluid. Glug, glug, glug. Burn, yuck, so, so bitter. Uh, this is crisis, yes? We really ought to do something, don't you agree, Ricky? Yeah, now time for Hero Pond to shine. Huh? This tastes not bad. Maybe Ababa understand what acquired taste means now. You can't acquire a taste in the middle of the first drink. It doesn't work that way. Ababa wants friends to ask Deki if this what acquired taste like. Great. So now we have a quest to uh, go back and return to Deki. Actually, do you have anything else to say before we go, Ababa? Know any Makna Aluka that Ababa can get some tasty juice from? Ababa can almost take it, taste it now. Delicate adult taste. Ababa wants to drink again. Oh, he is fickle. All right, time to change the time. Deki, of course, pretty much around here. But during the day, he's kind of out here. Yeah, out there. Deki, how you doing? So Ababa said Deki should drink the bitter liquid too? Well, if Deki has to, we know Pond can face any challenge. I disagree. You guys apparently get eaten all the time. Eh. 
Deck, you finished the lot. Oh, the sharp bitterness reveals hidden, rich undertones. Insects really are tasty. This has broadened my world. Decky is grateful to Ababa. Yay, yay, happy. Ricky really happy. Well, that takes care of that. From now on, Decky will try a range of different insects. So there's that. We do get a tormented bug lover completed. Oh, sharp bitterness does reveal dish delicious undertones. Ababa, right. So it's just one of those uh, drinks that has a harsh front, but a, a decent middle and probably a really good finish. Yeah, I took a wine drinking course. What are you going to make of that? All right. 3,000 gold, 2,700 experience, and a general driver for completing that. I'll take that general driver and then probably not use it. We get an update to our affinity chart as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. You can see insect lovers now, and they are up to green between Ababa and Deki. So we did something. Sometimes Deki find empress beetles around here. I think Magaga used to hate empress beetles. Ooh. Magaga always treated me like a younger brother, but I always wanted to be more than a brother to Magaga. So we got a little bit more affinity between the two of them, so we'll take a quick look at that as well. If I can find them again. That's kind of going to be a big F here. Uh, there they are. There we go. Old friend between Deki and Magaga. Uh-oh, Magaga's got a rocky marriage. Is Deki going to make a move? We'll find out next time on As the Frontier Village Turns. All right, so I still need to get something from Deki. So we're going to go ahead and trade with Deki. Oh, trading bonus. A trade, a trade between uh, Ricky and Deki here. I don't think it's necessarily going to help that much, but I do want to get some benign crickets off of you. Flies like a shooting star. A moving swarm is called a meteor, but they're so benign. Orb daisy it is. Just the classic standby here. All right, that's number two. I'll be back when I have all that I need of the benign crickets. All right, that is all taken care of. If you are short on soft sea cucumbers, you need four for the honoring the no pawn sage quest. Uh, you can warp to chief's residence and you can trade with Peppa. Uh, who will do it at two star affinity uh, she is there during the day but for the time being we are ready to head out once more we have more quests to complete pretty much around here but uh, for this we are going to have to head out to uh, Machna Forest and head to the village entrance I thought the uh, the actual door to Frontier Village was the landmark there for a second but we need to head across the bridges here, so I don't really care if it's raining or anything like that. We need to head kind of east, northeast, that general direction. I think I can actually go this way to get there. We need to head all the way to a waterfall. Yeah, I can go this way. In fact, this is the way to go. You just stay away from the mammoths. They are mammoths, after all. And they can glitch through bridges. I don't think walking on its nose is going to piss it off, though. So I don't feel too bad about it. I did go ahead and check. And nobody is uh, really needing any skills changed right now. So skills that we're learning are fine for now. Um, I think I want to head north here. Yeah, just stay on top of the bridges, and you'll be safe, and you'll be fine. Nothing comes up here, except for the person that we're looking for. Eventually, I think. Unless I've gone the wrong way again, which is always a possibility. Right. This is what I wanted to see. Here's Gadada. Thank you for business, friends. Notice that he's talking to a high entia here. <laughs> Use pollen orb to help everyone. Gadada, stop! Why, Cherry, stop, Gadada. Cherry, make bird people run away. What to do now? 
Gadada and Bird People work together for Napon. Huh? Did Gadada give red pollen orbs to Bird People? Yes. I hear Napon in Imperial Capital catch strange disease. Need red pollen orb to cure. Strange disease? Cherry never heard. Cherry not believe red pollen orbs can cure disease. Cherry studied them for a long time. No ingredients that cure diseases. Really? Gadada make mistake. And red pollen orbs very rare. They not easy to make. Should not give to outsiders. Someone tricked Gadada? Gadada shocked. Gadada relax. Uh, Gadada get confused and start dancing. They they do like to dance. Everyone, Cherry and Gadada go back to village. Come and get reward later. Well, we discovered something. Not entirely sure what's going on, but Dangerous Ambition has been continued. We have to go return to Cherry uh, to see how that actually turned out. But that's kind of the point of this little dead end over here, is that we get to... Oh, Soft Sea Cucumber. Hey. Um, is that we get to see the Hyentia talking to Gadada out here. How you doing, Terror Lugas? I have seen many of you before but now that we have uh gotten that done uh we are ready to head back to frontier village we got what we came for here so let's go ahead and turn in that quest for that we're going to need to go back to uh, the sacred altar and we're gonna have to run up to the pollen orb storehouse not to be confused with pollen works Pollen Orb Storehouse, where Cherry is, and we can go back and talk to her. Hopefully, she'll still be there. She is out during the day. I think she is there until about five, so I should be able to make it before she leaves. The time active on the affinity chart says six, but usually that means they leave around five and continue to walk to wherever it is they go until six. No, it looks like she's already gone. Unless I'm mistaken and she's not here uh, for this. Ah, there she is. She just left early. All right, how you doing, Cherry? Yay! Yeah, don't be yaying. Do you know what just happened? Glad that Gadada is back, but I worry because he looks so down. Red pollen orbs hold great power and should not be misused. I hope his dealing not going on too long. That horrible thought. Anyway, very grateful to friends for friends' help. And we have completed Dangerous Ambition. Gadada gave top secret red pollen orbs to someone not from village. This is serious. For this, we get 8,000 gold, 3,000 experience, bleed attack 2, and bleed defense 4. They're always so willing to give me higher defense gems than they are attack gems. I would rather have the attack. Well, maybe not right now. Hey, we got a level up for Dunban. He's a little bit ahead of everybody else, which is a little bit of a surprise to me. You have anything new to say, Cherry? Eh, I wasn't asleep, boss. Wait, I am boss. If I sleep, no one to get angry at me. So go back to sleep, I guess. And then she sneezes. Ah, now my nose sniffly, too. Must move ahead with my research to solve sniffles. Yes, we must solve all sniffles. Screw cancer. Solve sniffles. Um, what else do we have to do? All right. Um, let me go ahead and check to see if I am full on a couple things, and then I will be back uh, before we can move on here. Looks like I am relatively good to go, so let's go ahead and warp out of here. Uh, Dedaba does tra trade for some stuff that I want, but not right now. So we're going to head up to Pollenworks. We'll think about talking to him later. Uh, but for the time being, up to Pollenworks we go. Looks like Gadada has a quest for us. You want to explain a little bit about what happened? Probably not. Uh, for this, Ricky will be commenting. So Rick is already in the party. I lately go beyond my means to make red pollen orbs. Fact is, I'm heavily in debt. Well, this is crisis, yes? Well, Ricky, it's definitely a problem at any rate. It was Banna who asked me to give red pollen orbs to bird people. I feel so bad. Go question him about what his intentions were. Gadada get into debt? 
Did I don't want to be Heropon? Unlike Heropon Ricky, I brainy intellectual. Would hate being Heropon. However, want Heropon to do something to help me. Leave it to Heropon me. Ricky will solve problem of Gadada. What happened to Heropon Ricky? What do you mean Heropon me? All right, so we have a new quest: find the kingpin. In order to get find the kingpin, uh, you need to have completed dangerous ambition, which is what we kind of just did, and you also need two and a half star affinity in the region. I made lots of red polynors for the Nopon, but Gadada was tricked. Gadada never forgive. Gadada need to know why. Chat to Banna. Before completing this, we will eventually get 10,000 gold, 5,000 experience, poison attack 2, and poison defense 4. This means terrible thing for all Nopon. Need your help to solve problem. Easy peasy. Here upon, take care of it. I trust you won't go back on your word. I shall assist you. Ricky, no break promise. Dun dun, follow Ricky. Yes, dun dun. Friends get information out of Banna? I'm so flustered I cannot work. Anything else? No, that is it. So, we are ready to go. Uh, if you are short on Ferris blood for the quest Losing the Taste for Alcohol, uh, Gadada will trade for that for you here. But, I'm fine, so we're ready to go. We need to head to the Sacred Altar. We need to go talk to Banna. Just right there. Remember, Banna's the one that's a little bit difficult to find. Uh, he's the one that comes out right around here, around midnight. So, let's go ahead and change it over. Once again, I think I'm going the wrong way every time. Hey, there's Banna. Banna. You here to ask about what happened the other day? I was surprised too. An order came from Nopon Merchants. Give red pollen herbs to bird people. Nopon Merchants? I do not know which merchant issued order. A letter arrived. I thought big trouble. Despite all the help I gave, I was being tricked. Were you now? I thought it was for benefit of all Nopon. Whoever could have done such a thing? I don't know, Banna. I cannot rest with things the way they are. I will catch culprit. I will make culprit regret it. All right. 